Libra, are you single? Are you a Pringle? Are you a Judas backstabbing bitch? Well, you're in the right place in order to find out. How you doing, Libra? You're, <laughs> you're right. How are you? So probably, probably laughing. It's, it's a bit of fun, Libra. Come on. So anyway, how are you, Libra? So what we are doing now is we are going to look into singles and Pringles and prudices and prejudices and backstabbing bitches. And we're going to have a look at the whole lot and see who you got coming up. So hopefully it's someone that isn't like that. And if you're looking for someone new, I don't know, old or new could come out through here. But your actual reading for the whole week that is clarified with loads of other different cards is on the link provided below. But I will tell you at the end. Anyway, Libra, so let's have a look, see what single reading for a single reading for Libra this week. Uh, what a single Libra's got coming up, please. Single Libra's or people that are just looking to get away from their past. I'm hearing run, forest, run for your goddamn life. You could be cockfrost, you could be frost, or the name anybody getting with F or even Steph, but you could be running for your life. You could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Life Path 7, and I'm going to run, and I'm just going to run, and I'm going to run, and Bubba can go and fuck himself, and I am not bothered whether he's left behind or not, because I'm out. Some of you are gone. <laughs> You're just gone with the wind. So you might be dealing with an air sign, cancer, uh, cancer, you are dealing with, we've got to be dealing with like a cancer or a life path seven, surely. Or your name's Shaw or Gary or Tina or Shaw, or to be sure from Ireland. But like, uh, yes, I'm hearing someone from Ireland is like, to be sure, to be sure, to be sure, I'm fucking out of here. I'm not doing anything like that anymore. I am definitely out. No, I'm out. I'm out. So some of you have out a product or you're out of weed or you're just out. You're like, I'm just, I'm just out, man. <laughs> like, there's no other word apart from it. I am out. Unless you've been kicked out. You could have been kicked out of a group, kicked out of a cycle, kicked out of house and home, and you could be desolate and you could be on your own. Yay, that's something to look forward to. Right, Libra? <laughs> I don't know, are you? But like, uh, I don't know, like I'm out, like I'm not in, I'm out. Unless you're just, I don't know, half in, half out, shake it all about. I don't know, man, you're doing your weird two Libra stuff, maybe. Like, I don't know, I'm half in, I'm half out. I'm kind of shaking it about a little bit. I'm half here, I'm half, I mean, have you blown yourself up, Libra? Are you dealing with the Pisces, though? Because that would be like bits and pieces everywhere. Like There's pieces of them everywhere. Like, I mean, is a person blowing themselves up? I don't know. <laughs> but like, uh, I'm half in, I'm half out. I'm sort of decided, but kind of... Man, this is a typical case of like um, the British show. Yeah, but, no, but, kind of, but, no. Well, maybe kind of slow, go, stop, no, go, go. Okay, no, okay, stop, no, maybe. <laughs> and you're like, bro, that doesn't make a lick of sense. This is a sense that makes none. It doesn't make any. And you're like... No, but kind of maybe, sort of, well, maybe there's a baby and I really don't know if I'm pregnant or not. And if I've got your kids, then I can't leave, but I want to leave and I can't leave. And my name's Lee, Laura, Lucy, Lucifer, Leanne, Linda, Linda and Belinda. Or you could be doing the Capricorn for a lot of you and you're kind of like, I am so not in there. So some of you ain't in there. <laughs> I don't know. You could, you could be dealing with like exes and people. Right. Let's see. Libra. Libra. <laughs> Libra singles. Libra singles, what have they got to look forward to? <laughs> the moon, my mum, yay, or my dad, yay. Some of you are, some of you are just a parent. You were not just a parent, Libra. Come on, let's have it right. Not just a parent. Do you guys know how hard that is being a parent? Well, I don't, because I'm not one. I haven't got any children, but not. So, I don't have an answer for that. Is See? there something else I can help with? No, but like um. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but this is normally Virgo for me because it's a nine. But if it's a knot, it could be a Piscean. Okay, if I say knot, you say Pisces swinging on a tree. Could be Jesus. Yay. Okay. Uh, but like interested to look out for is a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Could have mixtures of Virgo placements here, Libra. Okay. Let's see. Libra singles. What have they got coming up? Libra singles. Libra singles. Because you may or may not know this person yet. There you've got Pisces all up in your chart here. This person could have like like a life path three, Pisces. This person is more of a an energy that has a mother. They have a mum or they haven't got a mum. What's that? I have a mum, but I don't have a mum. I don't know. So, okay, so somebody here has a mother and somebody here has lost a mother. Could be something around a Virgo. Virgo, because when I say lost, that kind of Virgo, okay, lost in the dark, you get it? But like, um, <clears throat> this is kind of like, I'm hearing that this person has a mum, but the person that you meet doesn't, that may have lost a mother, so they have a father here. The father is the son, the son isn't here. There is something to do with around that our families are kind of mixed up at the moment. That, uh, sorry, man, I'm sorry, because I have to stop reading cards, I'm doing singles, I have to stop reading cards as if I'm going to do you a tarot reading. So what I'm hearing is the person to look out for is 
one of you has a mum and the other one may not have a mother. One of these people actually lives with their mother. So the single person, if you're both single, okay, and you're watching this and you're ready to mingle and you're not a Pringle, look out for Piscean, Pisces, 100% Pisces energy here, okay? Not if you've been mixed up with one and it's all gone bad, right? That's your reading that's over on the website there. <laughs> because your general reading, I've got to say, Libra, what a shit show. I mean, what an absolute, utter shit show of a reading it was. And I'm sorry, it wasn't the way I was reading it. <clears throat> it was all over the place, man. Okay, so when I'm expressing this person here, right? This is a way to look at it. If I'm expressing this person here, and that's really triggering you off, and you're like, oh my God, that really sounds like me and I'm married, and I have a husband, or I'm the wife of this person here, how do they think and feel about me? Well, if you've watched any of my readings, probably how I'm reading it, okay? Because I'm expressing to you about a person and what they do. Now, if you're already hooked and lined and synced up with a person, and they, they think and feel that about you, well, that's what I'm expressing. That's what they're seeing as a person, <laughs> right? So, unfortunately, if you came from the Scorpio reading here, and you're kind of like watching now as Libra, because I know a lot of Libras probably have like Scorpio placements, right? Okay, and you've got like this huge energy that came up with them, okay? And it was a lot to do with around, um, you know, sorry, something just went off there. Uh, you know, you was watching that and I was saying, okay, this person, blah, 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 so on and so forth, vanity and all that sort of thing. You know, if because I had loads of comments saying, you know, about these pictures and stuff that were put up. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I was just really talking about, like, if you're married, for instance, right, you're married, and this is to do with around a lot of things that have been convealed, okay, online, okay. If you're married, that is pretty much what a partner would think if you were married as a guy. Be like, will you stop posting all of those things up on Facebook, right? Okay, it's just a way of looking at it, because what I was expressing in the Scorpio reading that kind of came to me afterwards through the amount of comments that I had in the comment section, saying, Steve, I kind of do this and blah, 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 right? That was fine. But some people were kind of like, well, I have a husband and blah, 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 and, and, and you know, and I kind of do this, but I try to do it really. Your husband may not like that, okay? May not like that. And that's kind of like some cause for jealousy. Anyway, that's just if you're coming from that Scorpio reading, okay? Because there are other messages there, but I had to kind of cut it a little bit short here. Uh, or Gary Shaw. Gary, Gary Shaw, you're right, my son. But like um, here, son and father. Something to do with... Um, and this this person here could could have like, a, I don't know, a baby mum or a father or something like that from different marriages as well here. Um, let's see. Who should Libra look out for? Singles. If the Libras are single... What should they look out for if a Libra is single? What have they got coming up and what should they look out for? Three of Cups, Pisces. You've got three, three, and then if this is a Pisces, that would be a three, right? Now, it isn't. It's a nine. So I ain't going down this road because that's on your actual reading, <laughs> okay? But you need to look out for a Piscean for some of you, okay? If you've got like a Libra placement, okay and you're kind of like well i kind of know a pisces and i'm kind of very intrigued in what they do for a living okay and that i'm in alignment with what they do which is like esoteric spiritual kind of stuff and we're not all tied up into like i'm in a relationship i'm kind of not in one and sort of are but not and i keep going back to my past and no you you want someone that's single that's very sure of what they want okay so you've kind of got this energy here of uh i keep hearing Gary Shaw, bruv, I went to see you last night. Have you got Libra in your chart by any chance? Because I keep picking up on your energy. <laughs> I got asked out, just stay still a minute, Libra. We'll get on with your reading, all right, bruv? But uh, I had a school reunion last night with some people at a boozer in a pub here. And this is pretty much what this is. And it was a reunion of school folk, okay? And uh, I haven't seen him since I left school, which was a long time ago. And I got a random message on Facebook last night when I'd finished Scorpio reading, talking about Facebook and pictures. <laughs> and uh, suddenly, out of the blue, I get a message from a partner, a person that I haven't seen in ages. Uh, Hello, mate, I'm actually your way. I don't suppose you drink at the George, do you? And I'm kind of like, well, I don't, but I do go there, you know. Uh, well, I'm over. Do you want to come up and, and catch up? And I'm like, bloody hell. Walked in, hasn't changed a bit. And then what did we do? Take a photograph and put it on Facebook. And I was telling everybody not to do it. So, <laughs> so don't worry about all that kind of stuff, right? Depending on how the messages are received here, what I was talking about yesterday, if you're coming from the Scorpio reading. And I really got a feeling that some of you may be doing that, okay? But regardless of what was, okay, if you are single and you are looking for someone here, look for a Piscean, 
okay look for a pisces okay someone that is in alignment with what you do okay as long as they don't do voodoo okay let's see um libra what's libra for single libras what should libra look out for in the future for a single person this week so the king of swords gemini libra aquarius this person has their own business their own company could be esoteric normally if you're esoteric and you believe in all that sort of stuff you don't really want a skeptic and someone that doesn't right so this person could be on the same path as you come from a traumatic background of something to do with around maybe a very controlling mother okay and it because there's something here around mothers fathers or exes and mothers and fathers and this person that you possibly bump into has some kind of karmic situation that they have with a mother. That is, this is a drama triangle. Steve Cartman drama triangle. Scapegoat, victim, aggressor. Okay, so you have something in common, and it may be to do with around your mother or father, where the, where the reflection of each other, what you would talk about mainly, <clears throat> is, oh my God, I'm picking up on your energy, and the synchronicities of the same thing happening to you is kind of exactly the opposite to me, but mine happens with my father, and mine happens with my mother. You get it? Opposite. So you've met a soulmate. If you do, you either go into... So it's up to you here, Libra. I'll, I'll give you a past and present and future reading if you want. If you go back to the past, you go back to exactly how it was before, before you changed a chapter. Okay, a book, once it's written, cannot change scripture. That's why I channel it. Okay, scripture cannot be changed. It's written in stone. Sanskrit can't be changed, right? So if you're on this timeline, okay, and you're in a third energy here, okay, and you're still going over the same story that can't be changed, okay, you need to turn over a new leaf, change a chapter and start off with a fresh page. That's a new person. If you do, look out for a person that's very well educated, seprophilia, possibly does something around owning their own company, their own business, could have a Pisces placement. Now, <clears throat> if you guys are still on that same timeline of a husband and wife, baby, mama, ex, and all that sort of stuff, you're going down the same chapter and the same road. You haven't closed the book from the past. If you presently live out of the... I've got a teaching segment that's going to come up, right? If you live out of the past tense, you get in the shower, right, for instance, right? You get in the shower, you get up in the morning, and you go in the shower, and you, you are literally, say, washing your hair, right? And you're having a shower, Okay. What is it that when you're having a shower, is it that you think about the most, right? And I guarantee you that it is very hard to maintain without going into the past. Now, what I mean is future. When you go too far out there in the future and you guys are like, oh, law of attraction. I've got to think about the future. No, you don't. No, you don't, right? If you're thinking about the future, the future is of stress, bills, money, can't have, don't have, can't move, can't do anything, stuck like a Piscean, I'm stuck here, what the fuck is this happening in my world, I can't fucking get out, I am literally just stuck in a marriage, dead end, they're not giving me any attention, they don't love me, they don't want me, right, so what are you going to think in the future when you're in that, what are you going to manifest, a hell loop, three, again and again and again and again, right, so where are you living when you're in the shower, in the past, right, so you need to educate your mind and start thinking what you're doing right now. Now, I mean repetitively going over the same cycle of what you're doing. Steve, what am I doing? Okay, I'm reading tarot cards, I'm reading tarot cards, I'm reading tarot cards, I'm reading tarot cards, the moon, the three of cups, the three of pentacles, the king of swords, the moon, the three of cups, the three of pentacles, the king of swords. I'm sitting at a desk, I'm kind of talking to YouTube and I'm looking into a camera. The moon, the three of cups, the three of pentacles. So what am I doing now? reading this, what I'm doing now, right? What have I not done in that 30 seconds that I was doing that? Thinking about anything in the future. If I was thinking about the future, soon my feelings would change because they would represent an emotion that changed it to the past. Because when you're starting to look at the future, soon you come up against a snapshot and a memory of your mind that reminds you of the past. And before you know it, your mind is slipped backwards, okay? You need to go forwards. You need to live presently here. So if you guys are still stuck in this same situation, you're still going over the same thing. Now, if you're looking for a new person, like I said, look out for somebody that can manifest a future that has a stable business, okay, that can help and provide a grounding relationship that starts off that could be someone that can help, finances, money, can help you along your way. I don't mean give you money, I mean help you make your own. 
okay? Because this person is self-made company and business possible owner. If they are, they are very influenced in the way that works, how it works, okay? So you're looking for somebody that is emotionally intelligent, that is a stable background that is pretty much like a father, okay, in a way, because your soulmate would also represent someone of mother and father. So if the timeline is right of what I'm channeling is one of you has a father and one of you has a mother, the mother energy of loss of mother would gravitate, should gravitate towards someone that is of a masculine energy of father material. Now that isn't weird. Everybody says, oh, but they're like, no. When you're married or you're in a couple, you pretty much become mother and son in a way, okay, or mother and daughter. Not weird, I'm on about you do general things in life that people do in life anyway, okay? You look after each other, you look out for each other. When you have a partner, you do exactly the same thing, okay? So when you meet soulmates and you get father, mother energy of son and father, you have this opposite energy that gives you someone to look for that is stable, that's what you want, that's your future, not your past, okay? So... Single people, look for that. If you're going over the same cycle, you're basically relating it to stability, realizing that you're telling yourself that you're actually not a stable person yourself to be single, okay? Because you're in something that could be unstable, unsettling, unnerving, third-party energies, okay? It's not what people want, right? So you're living out of the past. You're looking for a stable energy, but whilst you're unstable... And still connected and contracted with a third energy, you can never find anything stable because you're still going over the same thing. Okay, Your repetitive cycle is watching tarot readings, believing, when is my twin flame karmic soulmate coming back? When is my twin flame karmic soulmate going to come back or are they? Am I living in fear of them? So what are you doing? Living out of the past still. What do you have? More than likely PSD and trauma. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> um, sorry if I'm sweating or so, but it just gets so hot in here with that computer fan uh, drawing these lights everywhere. But let's see. Um, Libra singles, what have they got coming up? What should Libra singles look out for? Eight of Cups. This person would live at a distance. You would have to travel towards this person. Okay, because they're a masculine energy and they have more... They have more, okay, for you to go and see them, okay? They have more, okay? So this person already has something that is built up in their life. Now, hopefully that isn't a marriage and it's coming from the third energies, right? They have something that's already built, okay? Now that could, like I said, it can be they already have children. They already have something. If you're not looking for third energies, what you're looking for is a stable individual person here, okay, that already has something that is built up of a business, of a house, of a landing pad, basically. A pad that you can stay in, or a pad that, or a paddy, someone from like a paddy land. But like, um, you know, someone like that, man, it is literally dripping down my face. This is what's really annoying me about all of this crap, man. And I can't even put this on because it's probably going to like drive that crazy. I'm going to have to get something to put on the top of it. Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> can't win. You, you can't win, Edwin. Edwi, Ed, Eddie, Edwina. Can't win, I'm telling you. Right, here. But that's the kind of person that you want to look out for in the future and go towards because they have, they could invite you over here. They could invite you over to stay and say, look, why don't you come over to here? Because I have something like a house, a home, a business, a job. And I have something that is very grounding and stable for you to stay at. Okay, So it would be like visiting. You would be able to visit this person. But you would have to visit the king. Because the king has a more of a stable foundation. Maybe than where it's coming from here. Okay, The moon is more of an unsettled, unstable energy. Okay, And it goes towards masculine energy. Feminine has to go towards masculine if that's what you want. If you want a stable outcome in life, that's where you go here. Because you leave traumatic experiences from your past. If your past has been traumatic, then what you need to do is go towards stable energy. But it also might require for you to travel to this person to see them, to meet them or to be with them. That's what it would take. 
it would take for you to get out of where you are if you're watching this and you're a Libra and you're like, man, where I am is fucking absolute shit and I just can't seem to get anywhere on in life. I can't seem to meet anyone and what am I going to do because I've got children maybe with a past energy and they're stopping me from moving on with my future and blah, blah, blah and so on and so forth. You're fighting for your children, okay, which means that you're still living at the past because you're still fighting to regret what you lost. If you lost it in the past and it isn't there in the future, you're still focusing on the loss. Where are you? Stuck. Stuck. Okay. That's what happens when people have children with ex energies and ex marriages and relationships that fail, where one lot has the children and the other lot may not, and you have to go to court and everything else. It's very difficult to get into the future because you will always focus on winning back what you lost. You see, winning, losing, they're both the same energies of two of Libra. They're the same, okay? If I focus on what I need to gain, I'm actually losing. You're not supposed to think of what you want, okay? You're actually not supposed to think of anything apart from present tense. Stop listening to law of attraction bollocks, okay? I'm supposed to think about what I want. Of course you're not supposed to think about what you want. Okay, because you'll obsess about it. And if you obsess about it, you have an addiction. If you have an addiction, you form a block and then blocks don't give you anything. You're not supposed to think, <laughs> Tyrone, okay? You're supposed to live presently. When you do, the future will become the past and the present. Your mind will be educated to live now. If you can't live for now, you can't live for tomorrow. So what are you? Skint with no money. No way out. Can't get divorced. No way out. I have to stay where I am. I'm confused. What do I need? This single energy of person that's stable in order to give you somewhere to lend. Yeah? So, that's single readings. That isn't blowing a feather up your arsehole and me kind of saying you like, you know, you ain't talking to no one. You're not prepared to move away. You're not prepared to do anything. You're not reaching out. You're not talking. And here's a single reading of someone that may come up. Okay, I can do a reading for you that like that if you want. Or I can give you the truth and say, if you kind of know of someone and you know that they're very stable and very loving and grounding, and you're thinking that there may be a possibility, then you'll need to hook up with this energy here. Okay. And if you haven't met anybody and you don't go out anywhere and your energy is of past, 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 and I don't know anyone and I'm stuck, where are you? In the past. You'll need the weekly reading below. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Um, Libra. Libra singles, what should they look out for this week of a person that they could get to know? Man, y'all doing this Libra weird shit, bruv. Y'all, y'all, it, it's, I can't, <clears throat> I can do it as a single, but <clears throat> this is third party still messed up with the energy before here. Some of you just don't know which direction to take your life in at the moment, but what you need to do advice wise is go towards this direction here, okay? This stable, wise, educated person that can help here. Okay, now that might be a guide of such, okay? But it will be a guy if you guys are looking for a stable one. Okay, so tell me more about this guy. Let me have a look into this um, King of Swords. Mm, some of you are talking to this person. This, that's what I'm saying, bruv. This King of Swords is keen as mustard, right? Is keen as mustard, bruv. Is Mohammed I am Ard Bruce Lee, right? Could even be from Australia, right? Or he could be called Bruce. But he is over it like mustard here. This person would be like, damn, I'll take a bit of that off your hands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if you're talking to this male energy here, he's replying. He'll reply straight off. He, we're like. Okay. So what's this eight of cups doing? Yeah. This person cares, provides and would do. Would do. They probably won't give you money, but they would su they would support you here, like a mother or a father. <clears throat> you got to stop looking at that as weird energies. <clears throat> I've seen this before when I've been on dating websites in the past, and all you get is these fucking people that say, "I don't want anybody with mother issues and father issues," and wants me to mother them, and basically they don't love me. They just want me to cook and clean. It's still an, uh, an element of what you do as family, of what you do when you create a family, right? If you come from a family and you create a family, then what are you? A family, Jono, right? So you are a family, right? So you do the same thing. This person would care for you and provide for you and help you out here. Very caring, loving, sharing person, 
okay they could even be a care worker or someone works in like i said could be someone that does things that uh works for the elderly and that kind of stuff right elderly clerk type sort of thing now if you're out of work and you suddenly this comes up in your future and you meet this person this person could say things like well there is plenty of jobs in the care facility that you could get jobs at you could do that kind of stuff that will help you out financially okay this person also for very stable energy if you was to move to this person here they would help you out financially because they would be able to support you whilst you're together okay because i got a feeling you've got to come from this energy here towards someone that's going to help out a person like i said man if you've got loads of people around where you live and where you are then fucking granted there you go right but you still got to travel but the chances of that happening sometimes is a little bit uh, right but what i'm saying is is this person already has things that are built up and they would actually support you in that okay here so they would help if they wanted to be with you and you wanted to be with them you would help each other you would help each other you wouldn't fuck each other over here okay so that should be you guys talking here okay what's this three of pentacles for ace of cups some of you have already met this person probably here okay you've possibly already met <laughs> you're right <laughs> two of uh <clears throat> two ones you ever been here when you've got like a goddamn thousand watt halogen lamp here professional one that's like 180 quid <laughs> and then you got one there and you got one up there and then you got one here also and you've got no access to air coming into the room and you've got a fucking 190 degree fan that blows out from fucking a pc right in the background there yeah let's see <laughs> two of uh two of ones in reverse there you go man y'all talking if you know of someone libra if you've got libra in your chart or anything like that or you're just watching this just for curiosity and you think damn i kind of know like a pisces well educated blah 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 so on and so forth because water signs are all up in this business here right they could have come from something meaning they've just got out of a third energy okay or they've got out of a divorce or something like that or they've got out of like some kind of working environment type sort of thing or but there's projects that you could do together here that you could work on together as soulmate energies. But I think both of you that meet have come from traumatic energies of past that are to do with parents and past traumatic relationships. <clears throat> Those relationships build ships. They're supposed to build more sturdy ones. Okay, so this is why you get to know each other here and that is pretty much what you're doing here with this person if you know of them that's what you're building up if you're a libra that's watching and you're like well i'm not even talking to my twin flame you're not even talking this isn't for you then this is for people that have met someone new that are more than likely talking to like piscean gemini capricorn energy this can also be gemini that would also be a cappy in my book because it's a six so You've kind of got those energies here, Leo and Aquarian placements, Libra placements, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian, Cappy, Six, Cappy, Gemini, water energy and air energy, and then definitely like maybe possible energy of Virgo, but definitely energies of Pisces or life path threes. Okay, any of these could be life paths as well. But main star signs, Piscean, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, there you go, Libra, single Libras. That's what you want to do. That will help you out. That is pretty much what you're doing or where you're headed. Anyway, there you go. Very quick, very quick, quirk, quirky, quirk, 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 quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck. <clears throat> anyway, there you go. So that's what we've got. Quack, 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 quack. Why the fuck is someone quacking? <laughs> or barking mad? I don't know. Barking a dog? Cat, Leo, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, if you want channeling and everything that came out for your weekly reading, okay, that is over on the website. That can be found below. If you haven't joined, you can get $10 off your first subscription if you join the gold tier. What you want for these readings is the silver or gold tier. Silver tier is just monthly readings and weekly readings. That's the silver one. The gold one is silver monthlies and teaching videos. There's loads and loads and loads of videos over there. About four that is each done on teaching each month. So there's a load to stick your teeth in. And it is not that much more. And you can also get money off each month depending on what I'm doing. But you can use that coupon code below. And that gives you $10 off your first subscription. But it won't work once you've used it once. Okay, that's only to the gold tier. But if you want this, it'll be on the silver or gold. 
If you want the monthlies, you can just join the bronze one if you want, or you can actually just buy it singly and you think, well, I only want this one reading. You can do that also. You just have to follow the link provided below. Please make sure that you follow Angel Radio. I'm actually not with my ex anymore, and we have completely gone our separate ways completely this time. So um, you can follow the vlog, and it will be up going, okay, because I should be just doing stuff and whatever on my own or, or, you know, whatever it comes. But I will add to the vlog still. So the vlog isn't closing, but, you know, if you're kind of watching it thinking, oh, you guys are so, you know, that kind of finished uh, a few months ago. <laughs> okay, so the vlog still stands, but if you want to join it, you can. Uh, there's also, I'm also a music producer, so you can follow all the music stuff below as well. Okay, so there's two other things below. Thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll see you soon.